Hi there, I'm Eileen from the Teams team, here to share a few features that you can use in your next Teams meetings. Let's check them out. If you are working in Excel and want to review data like project budgets, survey results, or timelines, in your next meeting, try Excel Live. From your meeting, open the Share tray and scroll down to the Collaborate Live section to select the file you want or choose one from your computer. Once it's shared, everyone in the meeting can edit, filter, and add comments right in the meeting window while you are reviewing things together. Next is Cameo. From your meeting, click Share and choose a presentation from the PowerPoint Live section or choose one from your computer. Once shared at the top of the meeting window, select Layout. From here, you can change from Content Only to Standout or Cameo. When you have added your camera feed, a Cameo, into the slides of your PowerPoint prior to your meeting, you will show up on your slides right where you chose. Last but not least is Together Mode. While this feature has been around for a while so that you can choose to see everyone in the meeting together, you can now assign seats. From your meeting, select View, and then Together Mode. Select the scene, then choose Assign Seats. You'll see all the people in the meeting on the left. Just click on a name, drag their picture over to an open seat, and choose Assign. Continue individually placing everyone or choose to randomly assign the rest. This way, everyone in the meeting sees everyone in the same spot versus a different randomized view for each person. These are just a few of the many features that you can use today in Microsoft Teams meetings. Try them out and subscribe today so that you don't miss out on what's new in Teams.